Hollywood talent manager. And we're talking about the audition process. So in the video before this, we talked about the pre-read, which is the very first audition you have. And what they're looking for is your ability to uh, take direction and your believability. Okay. They're also checking to see if you are right for the role, if you fit the essence of the character. So, and they also are looking to see if you match with some of the other people that have already been cast. So let's say they've cast a blonde haired, blue eyed mother, then they're probably going to look for someone who's like that for the daughter. So once they've selected other roles, they have to pick the children or the siblings based on look. So you have to fit into a family a lot of times, right? You don't want to have two people playing lovers that look exactly alike, but you would have them playing siblings, okay? So they're checking for your, your level as an actor, your scale, uh, skill as an actor. They're checking your ability to take feedback, direction, and apply it. And they're checking to see how you fit in with the overall cast that's being cast. If you pass all those things, and you have a good attitude, let me also say, be on time. Don't have a sense of entitlement. You have an opportunity to present your view on the character. You present that view, and then you leave the room gracefully, graciously, with gratitude for the opportunity because there were 2,900 other people that didn't get that opportunity. And don't expect to hear from them at all. That is the type of attitude you have to have when you go to audition. Okay, let's say you've passed all of those things and they say, we wanna see you again. You're gonna to go to the callbacks. What you do in the callbacks is the same thing you just did in the pre-read. You wear the same clothes, you make the same choices, you apply the same redirection they gave you unless they tell you something else. And so what they're basically saying is, okay, we like what you did, we wanna show this to some other people to see if they, they like it too. So that's why you go into the callback and you do the same thing. Don't change anything between what you originally did and the callback. They want to see a repeat of what you just did. That makes sense? Part of what you do is you keep track of all your auditions. So when you have auditions, you should be writing down the name of the casting directors, um, the role you're auditioning for, what you wore, some of the notes. If they gave you notes in the, in the, in the pre-read, write those notes down. Keep track of what they're saying. It's your job, it's your business to be aware of how your auditions are going and what's going on. Now they're going to send you producers. Producers are the people that have the money for the project. Producers are very involved with the decision making. In fact, the final decision lies with the producers. The casting directors are critical in that they go through thousands of submissions. They narrow it down to the f maybe 20 people that go to producers. So you have to be excellent and they have to really like your work and your attitude and your ability to take direction. And if you pass all of those things with a casting director, they will take you to their producers. They will never take an actor that will not make them look good to producers. The producers are the casting director's boss. So your job is to be excellent and have a great attitude so they feel proud to take you to producers, right? The producers are who's gonna decide who gets the job. So once you're in the producer session, you're doing the same thing you did in the callback. Maybe they give you some notes, ask you to do some things different. You just take those directions and you apply that. Have a positive attitude again, uh, grateful, you know, really you should be so thankful for the opportunities that you have. Do your very best. Make sure you have great audition training. And if the producers love your work, then they're gonna narrow it down to like three people. And out of those three people, they're gonna decide who gets the job. That's for a film. If it's gonna be for television, it's gonna to have to go to one more level called the network test, where the network executives are all gonna come in the room because they're the ones with the money and they're gonna decide who gets the job. I'm gonna to get to some more information about auditioning in the next video. And oh, I should say, follow me on Instagram, Wendy Elaine one um, If you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe. I'm gonna be here giving you information every week to help you become more successful in your acting career.